Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can automatically create Google Docs from templates inside of make.com. Here we go. Okay, so step number one is we need to come into Google Docs and actually create our document template. Now your template could look completely different than mine does in this video. You might be making an automated, I don't know, legal contract or invoice or a welcome letter or thank you letter for your customers. Whatever it is that you're trying to automate, you wanna create a template for. In this example, we're gonna have a little bit of fun we're gonna be pretending to be a record company selling albums to our customers, okay? So our customers can buy one of two albums from us, either a Beatles album or a Pink Floyd album. And then every time that they purchase one of those albums, we're gonna automatically generate this thank you letter in Google Docs for them. And we're gonna dynamically pull in their name. We're gonna dynamically pull in the delivery date when we're gonna actually deliver their album to them. We're going to uh, dynamically update this picture based off the album that they have purchased. And then we're gonna write them kind of a personalized thank you uh, in ChatGPT that we can populate here in our document, okay? So obviously this is kind of an ugly looking template, but I'm not a designer, make yours look way better. The principles will be the same. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is anywhere we wanna dynamically pull in data uh, when we create these new documents every time, or we're gonna to wanna to replace with two sets of brackets like this and then inside those brackets, we're gonna give this variable a name or this tag a name, all right? And so um, this should be, I don't know, first name. Okay, so we're gonna pull in all of our customers' first names here. Same thing with delivery date. This will be a dynamic field pulling in. So again, double brackets, and then, you know, give it a variable name, delivery date. Your image, we don't have to touch, but we will be pulling this in um, dynamically as well. And then you just go through your document here. So again, I'm gonna change this to uh, first name. Same one is up here. Um, and then I'm gonna change this entire paragraph here because we're gonna be pulling this in dynamically as well from ChatGPT every time. Um, I'm going to just give this, um, I don't know, I'm gonna call this body and with two brackets. All right, so that's our template, okay? So you're gonna wanna save this down to your Google Drive like I have here. Um, and that way we can reference it in make.com in the next step. Okay, so step number two is we're gonna come into make.com and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set some variables here um, and this is just gonna kind of serve as our, our test information. Now, obviously you would probably wanna hook this up to uh, you know, your CRM or Stripe or whatever it is you're using to actually pull in your data. Uh, for this video, in this example, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna you know, set some variables here some fake variables that we can just use to sh you know get the point across. So first name, um, let's say our customer's name is John, and let's say that um, he purchased, I'm gonna create a purchase product, he purchased a Beatles album. All right, I'm gonna create a delivery date variable as well that we can reference, and let's just say August 3rd, 2024. All right, and then I'm going to create two more variables here, um, and this will be Beatles image. And I'll just go pull this picture here of Abbey Road. It'll be a URL in this um, you know, example. All right, and so that's the URL that we will use to populate this picture back here every time. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here for Pink Floyd image. And I've got a Pink Floyd image here dark side of the moon, and we'll just populate that URL there as well. So again, I'm just setting variables here. You would actually pull all this information in live from whatever systems you're using to run your business, okay? But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna set these variables uh, nice and easy right here. Okay, step number two is we're going to drop in a Google Docs, create document from a template module. And all we wanna do here is we wanna go find the document ID of our template document, okay? So I have saved down our thank you template. And so I'm just gonna come into make.com and go map that here. So thank you template. And you can see it's now loading in all of our tags that we added. And so you can see our first name tag is here, our delivery date tag is here, body and image URL, okay? So whatever tags you added in between the brackets back here will now show up in make. And now all we have to do is map our fields, okay? So I'm gonna map our first name field or a variable in my example. Uh, you would obviously pull in the name from your CRM or your spreadsheet, however you're managing your business. Delivery date, well, I have my delivery date variable. Body, 
Remember, this is going to be the body of my thank you note. So we're gonna have ChatGPT write this in a bit. Uh, for now, I'm gonna skip it. And then image URLs. So image URLs, remember, based on whatever product that our customer purchased, whether it's a Beatles album or a Pink Floyd album, we want to update this image URL here. So this is exactly why we created this Pink Floyd image and this Beatles image variable back in this module. So now what we can do is we can say, okay, let's see if, so we'll go to our um, formulas here. If our variable purchase product equals Beatles, then I want my image URL to be my Beatles image URL. And if it's not Beatles, then I want our image URL to be Pink Floyd image, okay? And so now, based on us toggling their purchase product variable, we are updating their image live in our template document, okay? So that's that. And we're gonna give our new document, the one we're creating, a title. And so I'm gonna say, you know, thank you, first name. That'll be the name of our document. And then I just wanna choose where I wanna save this document to. So I'll just save this in my thank you letters folder right here, okay? All right, so that's how that looks. I'm gonna hit okay. And then the last thing I wanna do is I just wanna come in here and I want to um, write an automated personalized thank you letter to my customer. You don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do it real fast for this example. So I'm gonna drop in an open AI module here and I'm going to choose my model. And then I'm just gonna write a message or a prompt to the system all right, and it's just gonna say, you know, write me a thank you letter for a customer that just purchased a, and I'll say purchase product record. So that'll say either Beatles or Pink Floyd from my record store, make it one paragraph, don't address it to anybody. I just want the body of the message, all right? And so that's as easy as that. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna do is I just wanna come and map that output to my body tag. Okay, so I'll just come back here and then I'll map this in just like this. Okay, so we're good to go now. I'm gonna hit save and then we can test this whole thing out. Okay, so let's pretend that out of our CRM, a guy named um, Jason just purchased a Beatles record and it's going to be delivered on the 7th of August. Okay, so again, I'm just updating these variables for the sake of this tutorial. This will be coming in live from whatever systems you're using to run your business. Beatles image URL, Pink Floyd image URL, we're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna run this, and let's see if we are able to create our document. So OpenAI is writing a personalized uh, thank you note to uh, Jason, and we're now creating our uh, thank you document from our template in Google Docs. So that all looks like it ran well. I'm gonna come to Google Drive, come to my folder, and we can see we just created a new um, file called thank you Jason. We can see we're pulling in Jason's name dynamically as well as the delivery date. Okay, so that's looking good. He bought a Beatles album, so we have a Beatles image here. Perfect. And then we write a little custom thank you note to Jason here. Okay, cool, so that's all looking good. Let's do one last test where this time we have a girl named, um, let's call her Emma, and she buys a Pink Floyd album. Her delivery date is going to be September 7th, okay? And so now I'm gonna run this one more time and we should get a new document for Emma uh, that has a Pink Floyd kind of theme to it. Okay, so that all ran well. We're gonna come back here and refresh. And there's our thank you Emma document. Emma, thank you for your business. Your record will arrive on September 7th. We're dynamically pulling in that Pink Floyd image URL again because of our if statement here where we're kind of toggling off and on uh, which image URL we want to feed in here, okay, based off the purchase product, okay? And again, uh, a little custom thank you note down here out of ChatGPT. Now, I know this is a niche example, but you can transfer kind of this process to whatever document that you're making, whatever template that you're creating. So if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for being here.
Peace.